Fox News is on the job hunt, this time looking at the massive stimulus program intended to help Americans get back to work. The $787 billion bill signed into law in February, a big chunk of it is supposed to be spent in 2010, before voters return to the polls for the midterm elections. The timing is raising some eyebrows. James Rosen is live for us in Washington. What about it, James? Anything to these charges that the stimulus is supposed to help Democrats in what promises to be a tough election year? Well, John, when President Obama signed the stimulus package into law on February 17th, he said the bill was designed to set our economy on a firmer foundation and to create jobs. More than 2.8 million jobs have been lost since that day, although, in fairness, the Congressional Budget Office estimates that through September, an additional 600,000 to 1.6 million people were employed who would not have been had there been no stimulus package. Now, putting all that aside, the structure and timing of the spending has attracted some attention. As this chart shows, the spending is structured to roll out in kind of a bell curve, with the bulk of the spending, roughly half of it, slated for expenditure in the election year of 2010, actually in the fiscal year of 2010, but the bulk of the election year takes place in that fiscal year. Uh, Longtime analysts of the appropriations process say packages like this one usually reflect a mix of public policy and political objectives. The appropriators who draw up uh, these large spending bills uh, naturally want to favor programs that they think work, uh, that may help their political party. There's some bipartisan uh, efforts on appropriations often, but not always. Barona adds that in part the delayed timing of the spending here may reflect the many legal hurdles the federal government faces in dispersing money today, a far cry from the days of, say, Franklin Delano Roosevelt when federal funds could hit the streets within weeks, John. I guess the Republicans on the House Appropriations Committee are trying to draw some attention to the spending patterns here? Yes, they, they've drawn up a lengthy list of line items that have seen relatively little dispersed for their funding. Now, using fiscures for, uh, figures for the fiscal year 2009, which ended September 30th, they note that of, say, the nearly $6 billion authorized for energy efficiency measures, only $3 million had been spent. That's less than 1%. For smart grid projects, none of the $4.5 billion authorized had yet been spent. And for weatherization, $174 million of the total $5 billion authorized, or some three percent had been spent. We were told in January we had to pass this massive $787 billion stimulus program in a hurry so that the money could get out of town for shovel-ready job-creating projects. And yet with only 12 percent of it out of town, we've got to ask ourselves, is the administration run by the politicals, David Axelrod and Rahm Emanuel, sitting on the money on purpose so they can trickle it out in 2010, the election year? I did like his use of the politicals. That is not a baseball team or a Motown group. He's referring to the White House uh, officials. Uh, we've reached out to the Democratic staff of the House Appropriations Committee. We're hoping to have a statement from them soon. Needless to say, though, Democrats reject the charge, John, that the stimulus was designed in whole or in part to advance their electoral fortunes. Back to you. James Rosen in Washington. Thank you.